everyone, welcome to or welcome back to Hello High for another great recipe. But today it won't be a cannabis recipe, it will be a magic mushroom recipe. And you guys have been patiently waiting for me to put out a magic mushroom recipe. So the wait is over and I'm going to show you how to make magic mushrooms and the ultra infuser now this will be a the first recipe of a few that i want to bring to you guys but first i need to show you how to make magic mushroom tincture so let's get started for this recipe you'll need some dried magic mushrooms everclear the ultra infuser or you can use your stove a cheesecloth or a disposable strainer now for this recipe, I did use seven grams of dried golden teachers. And for transparency, I also added an additional 3.5 grams of blue meanies off the camera the next day. Now I added the mushrooms to a mason jar and covered with one cup of Everclear alcohol. Now I'm starting with the alcohol extraction first, and then I'll use the ultra infuser to finish with the water extraction. Now tighten the lid on the jar and shake it a few times and set it aside for two to four weeks. And remember to store this in a cool, dark place and shake the jar once a day throughout the process. Now after two weeks, my alcohol extraction looks like this. Now you can see the alcohol turning amber in color. Now this double extraction recipe uses the process of both alcohol and water to extract the different properties in the mushrooms. Now some beneficial properties in mushrooms called beta glutens are water soluble, while other properties called triterpenes are alcohol soluble. So it's important that both of these properties are present within the tincture to receive the maximum amount of benefits from the mushrooms. So I'm gonna let this sit for another two weeks and then we're ready for the water extraction. Now after two more weeks, which is technically four, it's time to strain the mushrooms. Now the alcohol is now a few shades darker brown in color as you can see. And I'm going to use a reusable coffee filter and measuring cup. Now pour the alcohol and mushrooms in the filter or cheesecloth and let it strain. Now after straining, I was left with about three-fourths a cup of the alcohol extraction. And that's a fourth cup less than what I started with. Now pour the extraction in a jar and set it aside. Then pour double the amount of water to tincture in a measuring cup. The water will evaporate during the extraction process, so make sure you add at least a half a cup more in the beginning. In the end, you want to end up with a one-in-one -one infusion. I added the mushrooms to the ultra infuser, and then I added the water. I used the tincture feature on the ultra infuser, and, an, and I added an extra hour just to make sure I get a long, strong steep. And then I hit start. The Ultra Infuser is so easy to use as you can see and it can be used for various infusion types other than cannabis. And if you're enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming Magic Mushroom videos. Now after five hours, the water extraction is ready. And if you were wondering, you can also do this method on the stove, but of course you'll need to monitor the temperature and the water levels to ensure you don't evaporate too much water. That's why using the ultra infuser is so easy and convenient to use. Now strain the mushrooms using a disposable coffee filter or cheesecloth into a measuring cup. After straining, I was left with a half a cup of the water extraction. Now combine the water and alcohol extraction together and shake vigorously for a few minutes. You can gauge the quality of the water extraction by the number of polysaccharides visible in the water. That's what all that cloudy stuff is that you see. You want that for sure, so you don't want to get rid of that. You won't see the polysaccharides until the alcohol is added back to the water and it creates like an instant reaction. Once the water and alcohol extractions are combined, you store your tincture in a cool dark place and look out for more magic mushroom recipes coming soon. 
Thank you guys for always sticking around and watching this whole video. And I hope you guys make you some magic mushroom tincture, whether it be on the stove or in the ultra infuser. And this was the last of the tincture. And as you can see, I'm still shaking it because I still want to get it more combined, that water and alcohol mixture. So I will keep shaking it over the next couple days, but this is how it looks. And you can use this tincture the same way you would use a cannabis tincture in all of your drinks or your foods. And if you haven't already picked up an ultra infuser, please do so. Please do so on Amazon or you can find it on my website, hellohighcooks.com. It's on sale right now on the website, not on Amazon, but on the website. And you can catch me on all of my social media apps. Um, you can catch me on Twitter at Hello High underscore. You can catch me on Instagram at Hello High Official, on Facebook at Hello High Official. And if you've already purchased a Hello High infuser, please leave a review on Amazon. It is greatly appreciated. And I cannot wait to bring you more recipes that use magic mushroom tincture and other magic mushroom recipes. And I will see you guys on the next video.